Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So it is time for another empties video. I have been filling up my little trash bag. Um, I keep this little bin right next to my vanity and anytime I finish up a beauty product, I put it in there. I think probably most of you have seen empties videos before, but in case you haven't, that's sort of the, the gist of this. Um, it's gotten pretty full, so I think that it's time to do it. I don't really do it any set amount of times throughout the year. I just kind of like wait until I feel like there's a good amount of stuff in there. Of course, usually I wait and then all of a sudden I'm kind of like, wow, that's a lot of stuff in there. <laughs> so then it ends up being kind of long. So I'll try to go through some of like, especially the things that I've used before and have been in previous empties videos. I'm gonna try and go through those pretty quickly. Um, you know, and if there's anything that I really need to talk about, then I can spend a little more time on those things. But let's just jump right in. I'm going to try and do this in somewhat of an order, like group things together, but um, I'm just going to do the best that I can. Okay. So let's just start with a couple hair things. I don't have too many hair things, but I do see a couple of them. So might as well start with that. So the first one is actually one that I used up yesterday. Um, this is the Bumble and Bumble Sunday Shampoo. I have used this in the past. This is not my first bottle of this. I've talked about this in a favorites video before. It's a really good clarifying shampoo that you really only want to use. It's called the Sunday Shampoo. So you're you know supposed to use it like once a week. Since I don't wash my hair every single day, I'll usually use this maybe like maybe twice a month, maybe once a month, something like that. And then I'll use like a mask on my hair, but it makes your hair feel really, really squeaky clean. It's good to kind of get out all of that buildup um, that, you know, can accumulate when you use a lot of product like I do. And so this is a really, really good product for that. So I've already repurchased that one. Another one that I've really been enjoying and I bought like a ton of these because it was on a sale and so I figured why not. This is the Not Your Mother's Tahitian Gardenia Flower and Mango Butter. Um, this is a really good hair cream. I use this, um, you know, when I style my curly hair and I have been really, really enjoying it. It's very inexpensive. I talked about this in my last Beauty Blab. Still loving that one. And then the other one that I was using before I discovered that one is more expensive and it's the Moroccan Oil Curl Defining Cream. And I do love this. It smells delicious like all of the Moroccan Oil products, but you know, it's more expensive and I don't feel like it's really any better than the other one. I think that there's maybe more, is there more product? in this one oh, only slightly more um, I was gonna say I felt like I went through that one quicker than this one but I don't know this one um, is just way more expensive so I figure I'll just I'll just use that one for a while I still enjoy using it I have a couple hair masks and I like to try and get little like travel sizes of hair masks and things like that because I, I feel like I can't find a really good mask although I did try a really really good one that I'll mention in a second um, so I feel like it's good to try some little small tubs of them because they're really, you know, they can be really expensive. And so it's nice to like just try it a couple of times before buying like the bigger size. This is the Living Proof Restore Mask Treatment. This is, again, a small size of it. This is a very pricey one, especially the big size of it. And this is really, really nice. I would definitely consider getting it again, but I found other things that I like better. So um, I'm glad that I got to try this one out. The one that I've tried that I immediately fell in love with, I bought a big size of it, <laughs> is this one, the Diva Curl Melt Into Moisture. Oh my God. First of all, and I can't really smell it anymore because it's it's empty. Um, this smells so delicious and it made my hair really, really soft and smooth. If you have curly hair, I don't know how this would work if you have straight hair. Um, I mean, it's Diva Curl, I don't really know, but I really really loved this one i was shocked by how much i loved it i was so excited that i had got a sample of it i i don't often use samples like this on my hair but wow i really fell in love with that one i also tried one by not your mother's i think i had mentioned one time that i during like a buy one get one sale i tried like their it's in a green tub i don't remember exactly what it's called i can pop a picture up on the screen and i've been really enjoying that one as well it's cheaper than the diva curl one i think i like the diva curl one just a little bit better but that one's a pretty good um, alternative if you don't want to spend that much on the Diva Curl one. I've got a Briogeo scalp revival. This came in like a little set with the Briogeo mask. I don't remember which mask it was, but it's a mask that's really nice actually. This is pretty good. I feel like it shouldn't be in a tub like this. It's just really, really messy and it's very like, it's a very loose type of formula. And so you have to like really kind of scoop it out and it gets, you know, you feel like you almost waste product because you almost drop it or you do drop it. Um, 
it's really nice, but I don't feel like it's worth the price, I don't think. Um, I definitely get, you know, some dandruff and some itchy scalp stuff, and this helps, but I don't know that it helps any more than some other type of scalp, um, like tea tree type of shampoo or conditioner or something like that. Like I really like the Trader Joe's ones. Those are way more affordable than this one. And this is nice. It's just, I don't know that it's really worth the price. I don't usually have that many hair things, but I'm just wanting to make sure that I tell you about all of the hair things before I move on. Oh, here's one more. <laughs> this is another like mini size of a mask that I tried. This is the Amica the Cure Intense Repair Mask. It was just okay. I tried another one from them as well. It may have been in my last empties. Um, it was just okay. Nothing that special. I should point out though that I'm very, very picky when it comes to hair products. I've mentioned that before, but in case you are new here, I'm very picky because I have very thick, curly, frizzy hair. And so I I'm just very picky. So let's just leave it at that. So if there's a product that you really like, I, I may not like it or vice versa, but um, I am picky. I am admitting that, that I am picky. Let's move on to a couple like body things. Um, I've got a uh, Bath and Body Works almond and vanilla shower gel. Really nice shower gel. I have another one in my shower right now. It's a very basic kind of shower gel. It's nothing really that special, but you know, when you make sure and get these on their sales and coupons and all those things, it's fairly inexpensive and it's good. I've also got um, the Body Shop almond milk and honey body butter. I really, really like this body butter. It's very moisturizing like all of their body butters, but I like this one especially because the scent is really, it, it still has a nice fragrance, but it's a softer fragrance. So it would, you know, not necessarily disrupt with your perfumes and that kind of thing. And it just smells really soothing and and yummy, and but it's not super strong. And I do find that it's very moisturizing. So I like that one. I usually try to get that when it's on some type of sale at Ulta. Oh, and here's another one. <laughs> and I have one more in my drawer. I like those a lot. I use them up quite a bit. I've got one more body butter. This is a little mini uh, that I used up while I was just on my vacation. Um, it's a little Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream. I really love this stuff. It is really, really pricey and kind of overpriced in my opinion. So I usually try to wait until these are on sale, but I had gotten this as like a point perk or something. I don't really do those point perks anymore. Like now that Sephora has changed their program because now I try to save up for the $100 rewards. But I used to get a lot of these little, you know, whenever they came out with something pretty decent. And I'm definitely gonna keep this little container though because I'm gonna save this for travel. This is such a great little size for travel and I can just fill it with more Boom Boom Cream. So I'm gonna hang on to that one. But uh, I do really love that body butter. It smells delicious. And I love the way it sinks in so quickly. Ugh, so good. So now I have a few hand creams in here. I put on hand cream every night before I go to bed. So I usually go through a bunch. Um, and this one is um, one from L'Occitane. I usually have some of these in rotation. Um, this is the Creme Mains. I, I don't know. I think it smells kind of like roses, maybe. Um, these smell really nice. They're really good hand creams. They're just a little bit pricey. This is like a smaller size of it, though. Um, and then, very sad, I have a Kale Polish hand cream. Um, if you didn't know, Kale Polish sells probably now my favorite nail polish, which I can't say anymore, I guess, because they are now closing. It's Kathleen Light's nail polish brand. There really hasn't been too much information about it. She said for legal reasons she can't talk about it, but I'm very sad. And they had just started with hand creams and this is their original one, the almond one. I have their like snickerdoodle one that they came out with during the holidays. I still am using that one. It's a really nice hand cream. I don't know that it was anything that super special, but it was like a nice thing to add in if I needed to get free shipping or something. And um, yeah. I'm really sad about that because I love, I love their nail polishes. In fact, I'm wearing one right now because I usually am. <laughs> I've got a couple like lip butter things in here. So I've got a Nivea lip butter, this uh, Cocoa Butter Kiss. I've gone through a bunch of these. They're really inexpensive. It's a good basic type of lip butter. This is the kind of thing that I would put on like overnight and it just sort of sits on your lips and moisturizes. I don't think that this is the kind that you would use if you had like really cracked dry lips and you needed to like really repair them but it's a good basic one and I, I enjoy using it. And again, it's really inexpensive. Something that I would recommend if you want to really moisturize your lips is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This is a little mini size, which takes you forever to go through. And I, I really slathered this stuff on, I love it. I have a full size in my nightstand over here and I use it every night. I love this stuff. Um, I have a bunch of little mini ones too, because I, 
Um, so I normally I would keep this one, but I have a bunch of mini ones that I got because it came in like a set during the holidays. It was such a good deal because I just love this lip mask. I've got one of the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balms. This is again a little mini size that came in a set. This is a really nice eye cream. I do enjoy it. However, I found that I have to use the Derma Doctor Wrinkle Revenge. I'm almost done with the one that I'm using right now. I already ordered another one because I get this like dry flaky skin on my eyes, more so in the winter for sure, but really anytime. And if I stop using that stuff for too long, it just comes back. And I don't know what the deal is, but it is one that says you can use it on your eyelids, whereas a lot of eye creams don't say that. I don't know if that's the reason why, but it's the only thing that can really keep that dryness at bay. Um, this one is really nice if you just need a good, basic, moisturizing eye cream. It's very hydrating, it feels really nice. It just, I was only using it underneath my eyes because it just doesn't fix that problem. But I love my face moisturizers from Belief. Um, they're my favorite. So I have a big size of the Aqua Bomb, which is what I use during the spring and summer because I have combo skin, so I sort of switch it based on the seasons and what my skin needs. So I used up the Aqua Bomb. I'm right now using the Moisturizing Balm. Here's a little mini size of the Moisturizing Balm, which is a great little size to travel with. I just used this one up while I was on my trip. I have another little mini one, otherwise I would keep this and fill it up with the big one. And I have my Drunk Elephant Be Hydra Intensive Hydration Gel. I really love this as a good gel moisturizer but I've been using a different one that I now prefer uh, this is still really really nice and I buy this little set usually when I'm going to travel that has this a little mini size of this and their C from a day serum um, I wish that it came with the other moisturizer that I'm about to talk about in a second um, as well but I still really love this and I'll you know I'll use it if I have it in that set for sure but the one that I now prefer is their proteiny uh, polypeptide cream. I really love this moisturizer. It's nice and moisturizing, but it's not too greasy for someone who has, you know, oily skin or combo like me. Um, but I think it'd be good even if you have dry skin. I just feel like it's a really good moisturizer and I've been loving it. And I love the packaging. This is obviously a little mini size, but the full size is comes in a tub and you kind of squeeze the top and it comes out in a little hole. It's such a great packaging. I love Drunk Elephant's packaging. I have a little mini size of the Purity Made Simple Philosophy cleanser. It's a really good basic cleanser. I'm not using it right now just because I was trying something else, but I will definitely go back to this. I really love this. It's a good basic cleanser. Then I have a Bosha Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. This is a really nice cleansing oil. I really do enjoy this. I would consider getting this again in the future. I love that it has a pump. It makes it super easy to, you know, get some on your hands and just sort of massage it in and it just breaks up all of your makeup. I really, really love it. I don't love what I'm using right now. I'm gonna talk about that soon in a beauty lab. Um, but whenever I use that one up, cause I don't wanna waste what I had already bought, you know, um, and I can't return it. Um, I would consider getting this one again. I really love it. And I, again, I love that it's in a pump. Then I have a bottle of the fresh Seaberry oil. I already am using another one. I really, really love this oil. I put a couple drops in my moisturizer at night and I just feel like it adds an extra level of hydration. Again, not greasy. And I can kind of use however many drops I feel like I need. You know, sometimes if I feel like the skin on my nose gets a little dry, cause again, combo skin, you gotta love it. <laughs> you get oily, but dry at the same time. I'll put like just a little bit extra on there. And and it really helps to just add that moisture back in. It's a great oil and I feel like it lasts me a really, really long time because I only use like two to three drops a night. So it, you know, it's expensive, but it lasts me a very, very long time. And I usually will just stock up on it during one of the Sephora sales. Another oil that I use, but just a different oil. This is the Caudalie Vine Active Overnight Detox Oil. This is a really good kind of dry oil that I feel like just did really nice things for my skin. Um, I don't know that I like it more than my Colleen Rothschild oil that I'm currently using again, which I've gone through many bottles of those. This one is definitely more affordable though. So I would consider getting this in the future because I thought it was nice. Um, it does have a bit of a strong smell. It doesn't bother me too much, but I've heard people talk about that. Um, so I like it, just not as much as my Colleen Rothschild number nine. And then I have a little mini size of the Sunday Raleigh Good Jeans, which if you've been here before, you know I absolutely love. I stock up on these whenever they do have this as a Sephora perk because this is such an expensive serum, but I really, really do love it for exfoliating my skin. I've just been using something else that is a little more affordable, which I'll show you in a second because I just went through a bottle. Um, but I love this and I also put these into my travel bags because it's good to travel with. The thing that I've been using 
um, instead, which I feel like does basically the same thing for me. It's just a different experience, a different part of your routine is the Tarte Knockout Tingling Treatment. This definitely can burn, especially the first time you use it. And if you are someone who doesn't exfoliate a lot, then I would recommend, you know, maybe starting out just using it once a week and then you know, building up to however many times you want to use it a week. I use it once a night um, and it does well for my skin. But the first time I used it, I was kind of freaked out because it really burned and made my skin really red. It doesn't do that anymore. It still may, you know, sting a little bit, but it doesn't make me red. And I feel like it does a really nice job exfoliating. And this is way more affordable than the Sunday Riley. So, um, I'm now using just a little bottle that I had gotten for travels because I figure I might as well use that up since I'm not going to be traveling for a bit. Um, so I'm still going to repurchase this though when I run out of that little bottle because I love this stuff. I have a fresh rose floral toner. I really, really love this. It's a good basic toner spray. I love spraying this on my face, you know, after I've cleansed my skin, you know, after I get out of the shower, whatever it is, it's really, really nice. I'm just using something else right now just to try it, but this is the second bottle that I've gone through of this. I really love this. Definitely a little bit pricey, so I just usually kind of wait until the Sephora VAB sale to get something like this, but I still really love it. So this is a face mask by Patchology. This is the Milk Peel. It's a five minute mask, which is really nice. And it's a good like exfoliating mask. This was really, really nice. I would definitely try this one again. I've tried other masks from them. And I really, really like their masks. Um, they have them on Ulta's website. So you can get, you know, maybe wait for a sale or something like that, you know, to get these. But um, really, really enjoyed this one. I thought that one did nice things for my skin. We have one nail thing, just one of my, um, this is before they changed the name of it. This is the Glisten and Glow HK Girl. Now it's just called the Glisten and Glow Top Coat. This is my favorite top coat for my nails. I have more bottles of it. I kind of stock up whenever they have a sale because I love this top coat. It's so, so good. I think the rest of the things are makeup y things. So um, I have a beauty blender that was just kind of ready to be done. So we're moving on from him. Um, I've got a primer here. This is the, uh, it's a small size, even though you get a lot in this little so small size. This is the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer Hydrating. It's not something that I really need for my skin. I think it is really nice and hydrating. So I would kind of use this if I, you know, had just gotten out of the shower and wanted to do my makeup and I felt like my skin needed a little bit more moisture, I would go in with this before doing my makeup. So I think it's really nice, but I don't think that I would repurchase this because I don't usually need something like this. Then I have a little, this was the weirdest thing. So this is the NYX uh, pigment primer and I didn't really like this one. I much prefer their glitter glue, um, but I went to go use this one day because I figured, well, I might as well use it. I have it, even though it's not my favorite. And the top just had come off. So I don't know what happened there, but uh, that just kind of had to go in the trash. <laughs> I really don't know what happened, but I guess, the product just knew I didn't like it and was like, I'm, I'm just taking myself out of your life. <laughs> I don't know. I have a brow product here. This is the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow. I do really like this brow pencil, especially for the price, but I feel like the color is not the greatest. It's a little bit too warm tone for my liking uh, for my brows. So I was just kind of wanting to get through this one. And the funny thing is I have a brow product, which I'm actually wearing today in my Project Pan for the year. And I have more in that one than I do in this one. And so even though I had wanted to get through this one, even more so than the one that's in my project, I didn't want to include this one because this one, I really had so little left that I felt like that was just too easy. So I'm so glad that I got through this one though. And now I can really focus on the other one that is in my project. <laughs> then I have a mascara. I only have one and this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex. It's a little mini obviously, but I do love this mascara. I would definitely consider getting this one again. I have in the past. It's a really, really good volumizing mascara. I love it. I have an eyeliner that I'm happy to use up because I don't want to use this brand anymore. And I have one more um, in black that I'm trying to finish up, but this is the Kat Von D tattoo liner in in Mad Max Brown, is that right? Sad because I really do love these liners, but just trying to use other things because I'm not really buying from her brand right now. Um, I have my favorite Bobbi Brown corrector. I went through a whole one of these and I'm using another one. I love this stuff and even though it's pricey, it lasts you a really, really long time, longer than you would think because you need so little of it and 
there's just there's a lot more product in here than I think you realize so it's totally worth it and it's such a good product I love this and then I actually have two lip products if you can believe it so the first one I wouldn't say that this is completely used up but it's kind of gotten yuck so um, this is the Sephora like lip oil I don't know if they have these anymore it's their oil infusion and iced coffee this is really nice it's nothing that special though I wouldn't really consider getting it again if they still had these um because it's just okay and it's not like as cheap as something from the drugstore that you can get. Um, and then I used up a whole MAC lipstick. Can you believe it? Yes, I really, really did. This is the MAC lipstick in Patisserie. And you can see, I mean, yes, I could like scoop it out, but I don't, whoa. I don't love this color enough to go through the trouble and do that. Um, and I probably wouldn't do that with most of my lipsticks anyway, but this one, the only reason I was able to use this one up is because I kept it in my purse. So it was something that I could just, because it is the type of color that it is, I could just put it on with anything. I could put it on if I was wearing no makeup on my face and I just wanted to put a little bit of color on my lips. So I was just constantly putting this on. So that was really the only reason I used it up because I don't actually love this one. So I'm really thrilled to have used it up. I'm gonna put it with my Back to Mac products now, but I'm really proud of myself that I used the whole lipstick up, I have to say. All right, everyone, so that is it for my beauty empties. Let me know in the comments below if you've used any of these products, what you think about them. It feels good to empty this bin and start from scratch. We'll start adding things in again, and I'll see you the next time we do an empties. If you like this video, please make sure and give it a big thumbs up. That really does help out my channel so much. I post videos every single Monday and Thursday, 8 p.m. Central Time. If you are not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. I would love for you to stick around, and I really hope to see you next time. Bye.